I feel probably better than how Fnatic feel right now. A map down in this series and in a dominant way, bet way, leaning the way of Team Spirit. And I don't blame them after that sick affair from the side of Spirit. Now we head to Fnatic's pick though, Harry. And if there was ever a time to start believing in the Swedes once again, it would be now. So let's uh, let's at least give them the benefit of the doubt. Spirit, CT sided though, going to be favored here in that sense. Mir dinked up top B and JW, he's come back with a vengeance, already finding the first and further damage onto Mia. Spirit 2-2 two, two right now. Fnatic grouping up on B. There's a bit of a boost. This is great as Fnatic will be smoking off the CT spawn. Mill will be able to fire off from above it. We've got to see if Fnatic check it. You would imagine a team of this tenure should be looking at that position. And Mir is only a bullet away from death. So here come Fnatic. Spirit with a third rotation in play, but it won't be here in time. Golden opening up and now through the smoke. Ooh. Magix does deal with JW. Mir's up on this boost and he's waited very, very patiently. Oh, but not connecting the shots yeah. and that's heartbreaking. Mir definitely had chances in that round there. Magix continuing. Oh, okay. We're into a two on two. This was a 2v4, but you've, uh, you've seen a couple of nice shots here from Team Spirit to propel them back into this round. And they don't have a kit. And there isn't even one drop. So they are, there is one drop actually at Coffins. They're going to be able to retrieve that. And that's going to give them that much more time to work with here. Kit now on Magic. Ooh, the shot from Chopper. It's all on Crims. And he has nailed Magix at the back of the site. Now dancing around Ubox to try desperately to hold on. But he gets domed no down. Time. Surely. With the kit, it's going to be closed. No. Yeah. I Ooh, oh, he's got it. He's got it. No he's stolen way. it away. Team Spirit, they get it on the board. Magix and Chopper do it single-handedly. Well, quad-handedly between the two of them. Wow. I mean, those are the players on, on the last map that really looked sick. Magix ended 19-9. and nine. Chopper was 19-5. and five. Like, that's crazy as well. But I did not expect a two-on-four retake like that from Spirit, especially after those whiff shots from Mia Man. It looked like it was going to fall apart. Fnatic, though, they're angry after that one. They're going to force up in the second round. Lots of Mac 10s running up Banana quick as you, they come. And Spirit have three here to stop them. Grenade's going to be good. They're actually going to land past Flusher, who will just sit inside of this smoke and now get out of there as Spirit own the top of Banana. They're going to be throwing utility back in. This is that re-smoke from me. You can throw a Molotov on the car as well, if he just aims to the right of that. And, and Spirit can get control back of Banana. Nice combo of utility there. We see that more and more nowadays. But Fnatic, they want nothing to do with B. They're going to run the Gauntlet up towards this A site where only two Team Spirit players are. This is at the exact same time that Team Spirit boosts the man to keep down Banana. Flusher was holding for it. Golden, even aggressing down through long, actually does get bested there in the head-to-head. -head. So suddenly, you know, this was looking good for Fnatic. Well, now they've taken a lot of damage. They're in even odds, but they are trying to catch the timing into this B bomb site. And these MP9s are just swinging, clearing angles, taking names. And some die young now put up on the boost. They are going to check for him. He gets away with a bit more damage before he falls. And Ooh. now, Mir has to hold off. He has to wait for these rotations. Team Spirit don't want to let this one slip through their fingers. And with how much damage they've done, this is so achievable. Bye -bye. That nade might delete JW. He's just gotten away, just gotten around the corner. Another kill for Brolin. Fnatic, they've got so little HP between the three of them. They're sat on 47 points of health, now down to 31 between the two remaining players. I guess Balance going to get into the site, but is he ready for Crims? Back in the same position again. He's not looking at it, and Crims is just biding his time. The longer he's gone without shooting, the better. There's no time for the defuse anyway. And so this round does go in favor of Fnatic. They steal the force by away. But I, I, I kind of, you know, like from Team Spirit there, they get all the kills. It's a bit sad that they lose the second man to the bomb as well, because it would have made the buy in this round just that much better. On the upside, this is going to be a very weird third round where both teams are force buying. And outside of these two rifles on Fnatic, those are the only rifles in play. There's one for Mir over here for Team Spirit. It's not every day that this is how the force buy in this third round looks. Yeah. The fact that, you know, Spirit get away with more guns but do lose the round. Fnatic lose everyone to the bomb there. I oh, this balance, he died actually in the ruins with a Famas at the end. He didn't want to go wide towards CT. He had 70 health and he knew Crims was somewhere in the site, but he didn't want to die to that. I think if he just swung and took the fight, firstly, he would have won it. Crims was low, but he would have also gotten away from that bomb radius, which was his downfall in that round.
either way. It's not the end of the world. 1-1 one, one, and Fnatic making a move towards middle. There's a boost up for Magix and I disbalance playing on the balcony to support. First down, second follows, but Mir swings out wide with another kill and the shotgun is here for Sundar Young. Here to stay. Good damage done to two players of Fnatic. Crims gets back in the boiler. Sundar Young waits for the shot, waits for the chance and he might force it as well. Oh, good kill from him. JW dropped, but Crims is still standing and he has been the hero of this round for Fnatic. Three kills to his name and the bomb site taken. It's a fast flank down banana for Chopper, but Fnatic will get a plant. Bomb has been planted. Yeah, there's weapons that can be retrieved for Chopper. Admittedly only this Galil, but it gives him a fighting chance. He gets spotted there by Crims down in the pit. Crims has got this crossfire set up with Flusher inside of the site. This should be an impossible round for Chopper to get back into, and he kind of knows that. He scavenged as much utility as he can from top of this uh, this mid area. That's a smoke and a flash taken alongside this Galil. And it's another close round. Fnatic narrowly getting this one over the line. They get their second up here on the board. So now it will be just that eco for team spirit. And, you know, we wanted Fnatic to dig themselves out of this hole, right? I, you yeah. know, as thrilled as I am for Team Spirit to be looking this sick, I didn't want it to just be two blowout matches. So the fact that Fnatic have found some footing early on, you know, have found some common ground with Team Spirit and are now looking to get ahead, that sets us up well for a, for a good, intense series. As I said, it is just the pistols here. They try and put Chopper up in this boost of Banana. It's arrived a little bit late, and they were already one step ahead. The flashbang is good for Flusher, and this round has fallen apart exactly as it should do. Five players stay alive for Fnatic up against the pistols. And now for Team Spirit, this is where things get exciting. The yeah. buy is about to come through. Better showing, a better start for Fnatic. That's certainly what they wanted, right? With uh, some of the individuals maybe taking time to warm up. We looked at that previous map and we had, you know, 0 and 12 between Flusher and Brolin in those opening duels. So Fnatic finding a lot of favorable fights and seeing 3 1 up. Here's the buy. Spirit on the AWP. Fnatic don't have one yet. They're still on Galil's. Quick shot does not connect. I disbalance doesn't see through the boss hole and Fnatic cross safely, but not up through middle. It's a little more dangerous here. There's peril at every corner. Mira Magic getting a kill a piece, and Mir even still stands after smoking off the long corner. It does give Fnatic control towards mid, but Mir will just take them away through the smoke one by one. Looking for more damage by the second he's put JW down as well. Won't finish a job. I just balanced, got all of Bolana under control. That frees up a rotate back towards A. Spirit have three players here, and Fnatic have nothing in this round. Well, Crimsy, he's, he's been a bit of a magician before. Let's see if he can pull anything else out of his hat now. I oh, look, man, this is so patient from Team Spirit. They are just not moving. Like They literally haven't touched the keyboard in this round, the two players in the site. They are just waiting, and Crims holds that for so long. They, they're still not budging. They are statues inside of A, and they are blending in with the surroundings. Now, Crims finally pouncing out. And, oh, he's dealt with them both. So maybe there's still a chance for that, and Crims down in the pit this man nine and one right now a tag on to Mir. Mir not keen on re-peeking into this doesn't want to feed the beast any more than the rest of team spirit already have i disbalance up through short try and find this peak for jw closer on the angle and uh, able to see the barrel spams down i disbalance just a tad half the time ticked off this bomb so team spirit they've got to go and they've got to go now oh, they do no. deal with crims and jw a stellar spray transfer from Mir. He doesn't have a kit, though. It's going to be close. I think he's got it. Yeah, second round on the board for Team Spirit. And that was nuts. We saw it from uh, from Crimson's perspective. I didn't even register that JW had died. Like, that was how fast this little uh, transfer was. 
All from made this happen map. by Mir as well, right? Look at those smoke shots. He gets two kills up mid early on without even seeing anything. So great work from Mir. Really sets him up and he even knocks him down at the end. Four kills for Mir. Spirit, they get on the board. They get a, a second round here. Fnatic do have money left, and that bomb plant is certainly available, or left some available. JW warping mid. Oh, this balance doesn't go wide. He's holding for the ult pick instead, but Fnatic won't give him a kill. They're going to try and take Banana. Lots of good utility back from Spirit, making things hot and heavy here for Fnatic. They're going to flash through regardless. Flush is here, but there's an SMG trapped at the sandbags. He knows it. Jumping up, trying to get him caught. Chopper actually just left to his own devices. JW's going to bail and give them the control. Or Flusher, rather. I respect it. You know, you, you you have the feeling that you're not going to win the fight. You know that either you hang around and likely get double peaked, or you just run away and guarantee you survive. JW makes a Flusher makes the right call, rather. JW's on the AWP. He's holding mid. A man down our spirit, and Flusher's holding for the banana push. It could get gifted their way because spirit want information. They want it badly. Bottom B smoke. Flusher goes wide, but he will die in the process. It's an AK gifted to an SMG player. A big upgrade for spirit, but Fnatic are heading A. And spirit know it. They've already pushed through the B smoke and killed JW Orping mid. Brolin's going to get legged on the cross, and Fnatic may get the site, but how much more will they get? They've been good in these post plants. Once this bomb does go down, Fnatic have looked to do some of their best work. They want to try and get this one converted because they weren't able to just moments ago. Crims, he's been on a tear and he's down in the pit and there's not much I put past him when he's in this position. So let's see what he's able to do. Oh. Right, this balance missing that critical kill onto Brolin at long has upgraded the low HP player onto the AWP. In the blink of an eye, Golden and Crims have both found a killer piece. Mir's going to get out of there with the AWP. That was a four on three retake attempt from Team Spirit. And yeah. Everyone survives for Fnatic. That play from Brolin wins Fnatic the round, right? As Spirit are setting up. They're waiting for the smoke to fade on long. So Idis Balance has a uh, has a pick or a chance to at least you know, hold the lane with the AWP. Once he has that posted, once he can see towards the pit, that cuts out a lot of positions for Fnatic towards Moto side, towards Graveyard. And it kind of just traps him in the site in the pit. So Spirit... We're going to come up short with that. But Brolin runs through his smoke. He takes down Idis Balance, and it all just falls apart off of the back. Spirit have to commit there, but they have no one holding the back line. And that's going to be Fnatic converting the post plant. They're getting away with the AWP. Oh, drop it over. He's got armor, and Idis Balance can't afford it. So he's going to keep with that weapon. It's going to be a faster B approach here for Flusher, but only Flusher as a Team Spirit set up with three on A. Is that a boost up in CT for Fnatic? Or is that four or three in the apartments? I think it's three in the apartments. So solo B player for Chopper. Spirit are going to move away from A after clearing out apps. And they know that Fnatic might have defaulted Banana. That is the case. The bomb's going to come and join Flusher, who is feeling very inquisitive towards B. Getting a lot of information and clearing out the site. But look at Spirit in the spawn. Oh. Shots rain in, and Fnatic undeterred by that. They're going to group up and try and commit, but they are still walking into this stack. The all back in CT. Mir finding oh. two, a second on the cross, and now JW and Golden, they come in with a response, but the pistols have done damage, and Mir will continue this round a little bit longer. Magic's coming in behind him. Mir starting to back out of the ruins. And Golden, watch out! Ooh, Ooh. Through there, and every shot feels like it's getting closer. <laughs> He's also trying to hit the uh, the boost spot. No one's there for Fnatic. Now they know this AWP is in ruins. Flash is good. That's baited the shot. They know that he was just trying to peek into the site. So at that point, I think too much information has been given over to Fnatic. Too much time as well. Me with a nice double, but it's not enough to win the round. The fact that Fnatic made the crucial mistake of, of seeing players in CT and then not smoking it off, right? Flusher gets spammed by USP, so maybe he thinks it's, it's just pistols and he goes, oh, leave it open. But Fnatic don't smoke it. The AWP is there. He gets two on the cross. Big advantage for Spirit. And they still lose the round. Unsurprisingly, considering past Mir's weapon, there were just pistols and default ones at that. But great shots by Mir. He almost makes it happen here for Spirit. Fnatic definitely don't want to make that mistake again, but they've got another buy round and they've certainly got the T-side lead in their map pick here. Ida's balance given the AWP and full rifles now for Spirit, a chance to get back on the CT side. Oh, Great name. This 
balance having to be a bit more passive at Banana. This leaves Chopper out on an island all alone, and that's the first kill offered up to Fnatic. Already looking a lot more comfortable here on Inferno are the Swedes. Have a slow start to the day, but finding their footing now. Magic's trying to hold down Boiler, and he is getting pressured to the nines. He still answers with a kill onto Brolin, so he's given back a four on four to Team Spirit. Look at this gamble rotate. Look at this from Team Spirit. They look like they were about to completely up and leave B. Mir is still floating around. But they have put a third man over here towards the A-bomb site. And even then, Mir's playing CT. He hasn't heard anything, and he's going to be available that much faster as a result. Crims has actually stood out on the balcony right now for this peak. The flash is good, and Flush has opened up with a kill onto Idis Balance. Crims does get down into the pit, but doesn't survive very long. And Fnatic, with a wrap through CT, they're going to try and hit this B-bomb site. Now, Mir oh, no. is the key player in this round. Magix gets the info that they're rotating away, and Mir holds down CT. And now Fnatic, they've got to try and beat him into the site. They will, with this smoke going down. It allows for the cross. It allows for this bomb plant. Mir is here, but not able to deny it, not able to have a stay in this round just yet. Now swings wide, and it's all left onto JW. 1v3, back of the site, bomb planted and ticking on down. And three players for Spirit now to find. Nails the first, spots the other two. They are pressuring him, they are getting close. JW, now's the time, and a second. Oh, and the third as well. JW springs to life when Fnatic need him the most. Six on the board as he wins out that 1v3. That's mental as well. Like the fact that he sees everyone come through, he knows at that point he, he he's probably feeling like he's already won the round is JW. Quick, close shots and Fnatic, they're going to get it done. JW kind of leaves his teammate out to try as well, right? Golden crosses, goes for a very open plant and JW, JW covers for a second, but then moves away. Golden gets caught trying to pull his gun back out. And well, JW had to win that round after that. Sambayong had zero recorded Nova kills before this map, or maybe we'll see a little bit more from him because got some value out of that, killing JW the other round. Well, they would have loved it in this one. Spirit unable to do so and broken in the bank account. Two rounds to their name and a pause called for Spirit. This is Fnatic showing us that Nuke was maybe just a bit, a bit of a blip on the radar, a bit of a loss of concentration. Their map pick Inferno is going swimmingly. But Harry, remember the third map of this series is Overpass. Now you may think, oh, Overpass, Fnatic, they like that map. That's good, that's great. That's everything in between. Well, a little uh, bit of reality to come crashing down. Spirit have been unbelievably good on Overpass at the Road to Rio, taking so many dominant wins, not ever giving more than 10 rounds to their opponents, beating the likes of VP, Gambit Youngsters, Vitality, Movie Star Riders, and just those are some of the names. So. This is no easy series for them, as they've already learned from that previous map. But they are getting on the board. They are drawing things back. Flash will push Idis Balance off the angle, but he rescopes and to no avail. He had the solo rifle in this round, that one AWP uh, surrounded by pistols like Mir had the other day. And as a result, he feels the need to play aggressive, feels the need to find kills. That's if Spirit want to win this round. And he is right in playing that way. It's going to go back towards B here. Fnatic are defaulting A side with only one man up top banana. But even if I disbalance can rid the round of Flusher, that would be a good service for Spirit. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be happening. JW creeping and crawling through alongside Smoke, and he's hit a perfect timing. W, uh oh, the timing looked great, but now he's oh, been uncovered no. and actually gets shut down back here in CT spawn. Now for Fnatic, they see two players rotating off of B and they go, well, if two players are rotating off of B, maybe we rotate into B. But I Disbalance has been waiting here patiently with the orb the whole time. Mir looked like he wanted to flash himself through. Instead goes through Whoa. the smoke and finds the kill on a fluster. Bit of a taste of his own medicine. And another kill now for I Disbalance. Crims will get rid of two through this CT smoke. This has been... The killing field to be, and now a bomb planted, crimson gold, and left up in a two on three at this side of the map. But I disbalance continuing on his tear with the orb, crims. We saw a 1v3 from JW. Now it's his turn, but he's not able to get past this AWP. 
And wow, we got a big round from JW prior. Now we have I Disbalance stepping up with a 3k of his own. If, if both these AWPers can come alive, we can have such an exciting game on our hands. But I think I Disbalance is one of my favorite CIS AWPers to be watching right now. Obviously, right, like, can't be my favorite because there's a guy called Simple who exists in the world. But JW is so explosive as well. And if we can get these two showing up for either one of their squads, man, we are in for a treat. Well, we've got both orbs in play, at least. I just balance VJW in this round, Harry. So let's see if... Oh, we'll see who gets ahead, not if. Not where, not when. Just how. Spirit up to three, though. Beginning to build into this map. Chump is going to flash down B as a deep smoke to deny any passage for Fnatic, but they will spam it and put some damage away of Chopper. Down to 40. Still hanging around here. That flash actually doesn't affect them as much as Fnatic maybe hope, but they are going to be avoiding Banana as well. With a re-smoke down, the bomb goes mid, and Idis Balance, well, he's waiting here. He's waiting for a kill. Crims pushing the gap in the smoke in the apartments. Idis Balance has re-pushed, refocused on middle. He's going to have the drop on Brolin. Big kill coming through. Bait and switch on long as well. And with a man covering the apartments, it's a perfect setup for Spirit. Magic swings, and now he's trapped, but Miro is going to cover him, not letting anyone hunt him down. The Molotov keeps JW out of position and he's going to try and flash his way back into middle. But right now, Fnatic are scraping. Yeah, that bomb was also the second man in. So that's got to get retrieved now. They assemble a quick boost over this long smoke and flush it. Well, he will... Re oh, dear. Oh, Magic's trying to get away. But the nade follows up. Are they going to push this long smoke? I disbalance waiting. Oh, oh and flick on a JW. I disbalance wins the head to head of the AWPers and now Flusher all alone, not checking the pit. He comes to a close in this round. Team Spirit four on the board. And once was what was once looking like such a, a one sided affair in favor of Fnatic is now really getting that much closer. The money is gone for the Swedes. A fifth round should be looming for Team Spirit. And I do think as well, for someone like I Disbalance right now, I think this this half right here, now that he's got the AWP in hand, this is where we need to see him come alive. We really do see a lot of AWPers drop off when they move into the T side. That run boost was sick. It was all done on the fly. Gives I Disbalance a bit of a faster peep down. It doesn't find anything from it. Oh, good by Jesper. He's going to get double naded down banana. It doesn't even play this round as Fnatic's pistols should just get hounded down. Spirit are feeling very confident and very comfortable, but maybe not for long. With that kill going the way of Golden, there's a gun gifted in banana. And oh, Spirit just give it away. They smoke it off. They go, you want it? You can have it. But we won't let you win the round. At least that's their hope and their hopes. Well, their dreams, they're not even under consideration for gold. And he's going to fire off through the smoke dropping mirror and giving yet another gun to Fnatic. This is ridiculous spirit. They don't want to be arming their, uh, their enemies here, Harry. That's all that's gone through right now. Dangerous as ever are Fnatic. Brolin's up in A trying to sell a fake. The rest of the players on B with a bomb miss shot through the smoke. Like this balance has to fall. And so do Fnatic. And this has gone from, you know, being like a little bit of a fun, do whatever you want round for Fnatic to one that they could realistically take. So the pressure, the stakes are higher. Golden gets out in towards the top mid with this M4, but gets bested immediately. I some die young. Brolin is still uh, deep in the site, or at least he was until that exact moment. Now it is just Flusher. 1v3. We've seen a multitude of these, though. Let's see if this one's achievable. Doesn't have armor. The Molotov oh, really does dear. wreck him and forces the reposition out from Flusher. Great utility to just not let him get comfortable in the clutch. Because, you know, I think if you give Flusher a bit of room to maneuver there, if you let him get yeah. set up and isolate some of those fights, you know, that's where Flusher is in his element. So he starts to get set up. The Molotov just says, nah, mate, you aren't staying in the site. Sorry, <laughs> Flusher. And uh, Back yeah. to spawn you go. Yeah, that's pretty much that one all swept under the rug. Five to six now. Team Spirit grinding their way back into this first half of play. Worth noting that, okay, yes, maybe you're not going to be able to get as way away with as much versus Fnatic CT side. But on this map, Spirit actually have a better T side when it comes to the stats. So, you know, that's that's worth keeping in mind here. I think their work is going to be cut out for them here. They, they definitely need the lead at half time but as long as they can get that spirit in the world where they can still 2-0 this series even if Fnatic have woken up a little bit today nuke they may have been a little, a little sleepy harry maybe woke up on the wrong side of bed but Fnatic putting a really decent t side on the board looking for a seventh in this one 
They've got everything they need. And the kills behind them. Roland finding one through short side. He's doubled up. Golden through the smoke, getting Mir as well on the long side. He's actually pushed through it to his own demise. Fnatic own A. They own the round. It's a save here for Spirit. There's nothing else they can do. With three kills coming that quickly on the A side of things, Fnatic just guarantee the round. And yeah, a bit of a risky smoke push from Mir there. If he stays alive, maybe he can wrap long side and, and still put up a fight for Spirit. But instead, it's just a, essentially a free round for Fnatic. Blink and you miss it. Seven on the board. You know, it's not the funnest ending to a round ever, but it's very important in the grand scheme of things that Fnatic were able to keep it this clean. It's likely why we haven't seen him dedicate too heavily to the hunt in this round. The money is like, it is fine for Team Spirit. E even if they lost both of those players, they would still be investing here. And so the, the hunt, the chase just wasn't worth it for Fnatic. They want to build up their own money because you're heading into round 13 now. The last thing you want is for, you know, you to get that round on the board. You waste a couple of players hunting. You lose this one and then you're having to partial buy in round 14. So they've dodged that now. They've got a bit of a residual cash and that sets them up nicely till the end of the half. So nice bit of pre-planning for the future here from Fnatic. Spirit don't really fit the bill in that same way, but thanks to those players saving, Ooh. there's still something available to them. And in this round, Flusher gets caught aggressing at Banana. The fact that you've dealt with Flusher over here at B for Team Spirit is great, because now, you know, he, he's been playing this Banana control time and time again, and he does this a lot on Inferno, where he does just sit top Banana, sometimes on his own, he keeps a hold of the position and leaves it open later in the round, all while selling fates. Well, now it's forced Fnatic Ooh, to commit to this A play. And even though some kills do go <gasps> their way to open it up, it's now just J, uh, JW and Crims left in this two on three. Rotations even oh, coming in from yes. Chopper. JW going through Amazing. this smoke and Mir was not ready for that. That is a typical little JW maneuver. They know that Sumdai Young was down in the pit, but they weren't ready for Chopper so fast away from B to slide on in and get that kill. AW now on versus two, and he's not elected to go for the AWP. He knows there's going to be a crossfire set up here, and that AWP, the moment he takes a shot, the trade would come in. So he's going to get this done with the rifle. 30 seconds. Time is the only thing on his side. And even that, second by second, is turning against him. Throws himself. A flashbang for the pit peak. Crossfire's too strong. Chopper in the sight. Some die young in the pit. They get the round locked in. I love that smoke play from JW. Right? He sees Mira in the middle. He, drop, he misses a shot. He drops the smoke. And then JW just plays off audio. And I feel like if you give anything to JW there, you're going to die. Mir, he reloads. He walks into boiler. He's being very loud about it, thinking your smoke is a wall. And when you're playing against Fnatic, smokes are not walls. Spirit should know that. JW, nice try, but not enough for the clutch. It does keep Spirit in this one. Seven to six, neck and neck. They could break Fnatic for the last round of the half here if they win this, and that's a big tag. JW put down the two health at the start of the round with the orb. Still got the gun for the job. There's a double setup on Long, finally coming to its own. Spirit have been setting that up all game long, and eventually Fnatic will try and rush it down. They regret that one. JW with a kill, but down to two, and no bomb uh, under his control either. He's getting oh. blanked, and he will deny it, but that's the issue. Fnatic would love to run B, but they need to bomb first, and JW's run out short side into Boiler. This is crazy. Oh, but here's a kill from Crims. JW's on some Spider-Man level reactions right now as well. And oh, almost gone. Do it again. Do it again. I dare you, JW. Crims is here to help him out. They are playing around these smokes. JW still at two points of health, still alive, still a threat, and just there through the tip of the smoke, Mir's going to catch him. Crims, now it falls to him. This bomb. It is a standoff to see who gets control oh. of it through the smoke. Magic solidifies this round with four kills. He was playing that double long setup with I disbalance on the AWP. And together, playing that in tandem, all the results come up in favor of Team Spirit. Yeah, look at the money of Fnatic. Look at how broke they've be uh, become now after a couple of rounds in a row, placed well by the Russians. Spirit, they're going to push us into round number 15 with an armada of weapons versus, well, not quite the same case for Fnatic. Could be a fast B approach. We've not seen that really in this game, but the util has been excellent for Spirit. Fnatic have more so opted to give it up with the exception of Flusher occasionally fighting for logs and often regretting it as well. This will be another case as a boost up from Mir. 
shoots Flusher in the face. I this balance can get overwhelmed, and that's an orb to be gifted, but he's got cover, and he's got the shot, falling back and firing off another. Roller's gonna run through the smoke, he'll come to regret that one. Magic's re-smoking long, and one by one, Fnatic are falling in this round. It's gonna be an eight-round half. No From a great start for Fnatic, now we see uh, the team Spirit Gang actually winning out that first half, Hugo. 8-7, narrowly so in their favor. Fnatic trying to claw their way back in over on the CT side of play. Yeah, claw their way back in, yeah, sure. I mean, it's still close, right? They're still in a good position, a pretty damn good T side, but we know Spirit have a strong T side as well, so... Fnatic, they can't feel like they've already won this game. They can't get ahead of themselves. Triple B set up here. That's where the bomb is going. Man in the apartments cleared everything. JW can see alt mid. The Magix is hanging around, not for long. JW rids him of the round. Flusher spotting the B play, backs up. He wants him to commit here. He wants him to walk into this triple setup. The grenade is good. The team kill is not. Idis balance dropping Mir and now has to follow up with something spectacular to make this pistol round work for Spirit. The smokes are good. Chopper has dropped a man, but they are still down by one. Fnatic with low players with the kit and spirit yet to plant they need to get that down now and it will eventually come through but fanatic as long as they play their cards right they can retake this amount up yeah these two smokes are going to come in real handy because the bomb is planted for banana and that smoke falling now cuts chopper out of the round this now puts a lot more pressure on the two players in the site to do damage and find Ooh. something. That's a nice shot from Idis Balance. He's got it into a two on two and oh, not able to follow up on the man in the pool. Chopper trapped on the other side of this smoke. They tap the bomb. There isn't a kit in play. And oh dear, Golden went back to go get the kit from CT Spawn, but that left Crims alone. And now there's no time anyway. Chopper holding on and he's going to seal the deal in the round. Wow. And ninth on the board for Team Spirit and Golden so committed to getting that kit. His teammate gets sacrificed as a result. Speaking of sacrifice, we had a lot of them in this round. I disbalanced. Killing his teammate. I think he makes up for it by bringing it back into this two on two. Yeah, I mean, Chopper has been so good in these pistol rounds for Spirit. I think that's one thing that we've seen consistently, like two, three kills every single time. And, and that's really helped Spirit in this series. Fnatic on a force buy. This is only going to make Spirit get further ahead if it doesn't succeed for Fnatic. So they've got to be very cautious. Lots of util though, I love that on the second round, right? Nades, smokes, playing this delay. They've yet to even drop a smoke as well. They know Spirit aren't rushing, uh, so they can just stall it out and try and burn the clock down for Spirit. There's the first of five going down, none in middle used. JW's gonna rotate after using his on B, leaving two more in play on that site. But that is where Spirit are going, at least right now. Set up for and Banana and the Bomb. You've got Magic's lurking in mid. We're going to see a lot of that. He's going to be holding alt mid, playing apartments on his own in this T side. The rest of Spirit love these B plays. That flash could have had a player behind it. Spirit don't react as if that's the case, and luckily so. There's the re-smoke down. Spirit go for the execute. If they commit here, they might die, because there's two players waiting behind the smoke. Golden getting dropped by Chopper's spam, and that might just tempt them in after all. They're still not going to go. They're going to wait for the flashbang, but as it pops, here comes Spirit. Yeah, Flash is throwing a good flash to keep them at bay, keep them out of the sight, but he's lost his teammate in JW. Nice little tap down from Brolin. I do love watching him with the CZ, so let's see if he's able to muster anything Ooh. up. And even then, they haven't dealt with Flusher. They haven't dealt with him out of the back of the site. Brolin's taken down another, and Flusher running out of ammo now. 12 bullets left as he gets the reload off, but it's all onto I disbalance. Crim's coming in from Banana, and he gets blindsided. Eight on the board for Fnatic Team Spirit. They get slowed down a little too much. It's these yeah. flashbangs that Flush is throwing in that just grind the push to a halt. And, and, you know, for a solid, you know, five to ten seconds, players are just waiting in pool. And, and, and then just... finally, when they try and cross in, at which point the, the smokes at Coffin have faded, the CT smokes have started to fade as well. You're crossing into all these pistols that have these crossfires set up. And it falls apart for Team Spirit. And they had the utility, Harry. They could have re-smoked that CT position, but just not going for it. it cost them everything. It lets Brolin get away with two and a bit kills. And Fnatic win the force by keeping them close in this game. We've had another reinvestment from Spirit, but I mean, it pales in comparison to the buy from Fnatic in the second round. So they should be able to equal up the scoreline here and now, slaughtering these T's on long. One kill from Mir. It comes at a cost, and that cost is a round. Mir's gone. It's just Magic's left up on short side. He's being watched behind the smoke. JW should have the kill. Magic's moving behind the cart with a bit of chance here, but I think JW 
He's aware of this one. He's going to hang around. Nice shot. Magis gets one. M4 dropped, but no bomb. Two are long. The flank from B. Magix with a second. Surely not now, buddy. Surely not. He's upgraded onto the M4. This little crossfire between Golden and Flusher is going to be tricky to deal with at best. He does find the first, but there's that re-peak from Golden. Just swings immediately to try and take the kill. He doesn't allow, you know, Magix any time to peel off and start to consider how he's going to approach that 1v1. Just forces the fight, forces the trade there and then. Nice try, though. It really makes it expensive for Fnatic. I think that's crucial as well, right? The fact that they get away with, like, AKs in round number two. Well, now only one because Spirit rid them of the rest. And that could have been four surviving for Fnatic. It, it, it's not, you know? So there is a big hole when it comes to the economy, and Spirit are looking to fill it with bullets, with lead, but not in this one. They should just be dead. It's P250s and Glocks. Prince is already fighting out mid. He is ready for this one. And there's going to be very little to stand in his way. But there are three players. Grims is picking his fights, trying to choose safely. But right now, with everyone watching him, and Chopper coming in from the back by Crims, it's just a matter of time. He's dead to the wall bank. Brolin might just abandon this position, gives, uh, give the apps away. It will come with a gun, though. That's, uh, you know, the, the little toy inside of the Happy Meal. M4 in the window. Chopper's going to pick it up. The Flusher. He's doing Flusher things, sitting in T mid. Such a weird round. And I think no B can't be taken at the very least. They are just all fighting for middle and A, trapping spirit in ult. Chopper might want to gift that gun over to Mia, but nowhere to be seen. Too far away. Chopper gonna double peak mid. And Fnatic, it's just, they haven't moved. I love this setup. It's great, but they could certainly get caught by players coming in from top ult. Here's something a little interesting, by the way, Hugo. That 16-3 that, that we just saw on new, because uh, this should just be a mop-up, Yeah, uh, was actually the, the worst performance ever on Nuke from this Fnatic organization, like the most one-sided scoreline. That's for the whole wild. organization. For the whole it's, organization. It's years. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Going worst back game all with... time. How did you find that out? Is right. the, uh, you know, I saw, I saw someone claiming it, okay. and then I went and deep dive. Crunched the numbers. Okay. And it's right. Wow. That's actually insane. Yeah. And by spirit of all teams as well. Like, not exactly like the, you know, a tier one team by any means. So, even more impressive stuff. But spirit, right now, it might all be in vain, at least in Inferno, because Fnatic have come to play here. They are a round up now with control over the economy as well. And AK gifted over to the hands of Golden. It's a very good position to be in for Fnatic. Apps is taken, and to no surprise, Fnatic hear the footsteps. They know the spirit are here. Three on A. Brolin watching hallway from the site with JW covering his short side. Brolin's going to go into the pit and we'll stand a position here, but one that could definitely get Molly. They're going fast. They're going to flash out, look for fights, and well, it won't go their way. JW drops two. Mir with the only kill in this round for the T side and the bomb on the balcony out in the open. They've got to get it, and well, <laughs> they won't get away with it. I Balance picks it up and they'll put him down. Chopper in a one on four. He's found the first, but moving back to middle. There's no one coming from the banana side. They've already tucked in on long and he will not be ready for Golden in this position. Not even considering it. Actually goes for the check, but oh, there he goes. Golden gives away the info and doesn't commit to the fight because he knows he can stall this out and wait for his team to come help. Chopper's waiting for that one. But there are two players on short. Golden swap sides. Chopper gets a kill for 30 seconds. Are Fnatic really going to give this away to him? No, they're not. Oh, they are more than ready. I know. Latch on down, they deal with Chopper. And they break Team Spirit's money. This CT side for Fnatic is where they're looking to come alive. They're trying to lock in overpass. That's this third and final map. Only pistols here for Team Spirit. Something I think it's worth giving them credit for is that even in rounds like this, they've always been good at making it costly yeah. for Fnatic, right? And, and and this is good for Team Spirit because it's like even though Fnatic have been winning these CT side rounds and looking really, really good, and Team Spirit haven't been able to achieve much in terms of the round counter, 
you're only ever one one like win away from just wrecking Fnatic's money, thanks to how close you've kept yeah. each and every one of these rounds. So it's not all doom and gloom for Team Spirit. Even if this 12-9 scoreline comes in, they've got that little economic uh, advantage in their back pocket. But it's all about yeah, keeping it, that it up, does, right? Yeah, and it also it does this hinge on actually life. ever even getting the round, right? Yeah. Like, it's one thing to keep your opponent's money in that position. It's another to actually take advantage of it. And it, even then, as you're saying, it does hinge on still yeah. keeping that damage up in this round here and now. So as that soon, is a necessary. That is a must. As soon as Fnatic get a clean round, their problems are gone out of the window, at least in the short term, right? So, like, that is crucial. And right now, Spirit are playing very split up with these Eagles. So, one by one, Fnatic already winning two fights. This could be the clean round they were looking for Magic's made this dangerous in the one on four earlier by killing three players of Fnatic, but right now these early fights are not going in the way of spirit. Uh, Fnatic are gonna, gonna be rolling in dough after this round. Some die young. There's, if there was a time to get two or three kills and die, this should be it, but he's not even gonna put one on the board. Crims triples up for Fnatic, and yeah, now that problem is now gone, at least for the time being. Spirit, they still want to win the rounds, Harry, but they're not gonna have the economic uh, reset in their favor once that does happen. And that's assuming it happens, because four rounds away from a win for Fnatic, they could be taking us to overpass here on their map pick, the third and final one of this series. They may have started slow on Nuke, but the real Fnatic we know and love has come to play today. I just balance orping mid. We've not had a lot of orbs in the T side here. Good grenades do serious damage, and the Molotov Bergs chop out of the round as well. Fnatic spam the smokes. They look down aggressively. Don't find anything else for it, though. Mir gets shot through the smoke, but Spirit are desperately looking for kills. Magic is trapped. There's no grenades to stop him, but Golden has a Molotov, and Magic's going to run before it blooms, getting that kill as well, and escaping with at least a frag under Spirit's hand. Oh, and another one coming in from Sumda Young. I love that as well. Like, the, the Molotov went in, and you saw Flusher, like, looking at the Molly, look left, look at the Molly, like, thinking, like, where's he gone? Yeah, he's not burned to death, so he's got to be somewhere else. And... The fact that Magix is still alive is a testament in and of itself. Let's see. Can we get swapped on to the AWP? And Sumdai Young, who was over here in the apartments when he put up that kill, has rotated all the way back to join the rest of the team. Now, they're looking like they want to lean into this B site. And this is the perfect place to find yourself right now. Blusher, the guy here, who Stella B site anchor, by the way, doesn't have any utility and crims the man who did have a smoke while well, he's just throwing his out into top mid so there's no way to delay this push for fanatic they've got to play heads up there also isn't a smoke for the crop so if your team spirit you've got to win these gunfights and they do take the first but they're not ready for crims however some die young is able to follow up and this leaves brolin in a 1v2 but it's still very achievable 1v2 when you look at the hp on magic's the fact that he's got this kit to work with going to help out this smoke that Brolin had, the one smoke that was left when this was a three on three, can be used now to lock Magix out of the round and offer him up a temporary 1v1 in this site. The problem he's got is he has no idea where either of these players are. And with the player hiding back at dark, he's got to pick up the pace, doesn't throw the banana smoke, and so that gives Magix the angle into the bomb site. It's the round laid to rest. And Team Spirit. The fact that they win that out is wild. When yeah. you think about the start that Fnatic have with these kills down Banana, finding themselves in what, a five on three out of the gate. And then it gets completely turned around with two of those three players that were left in that five on three for Team Spirit surviving. Yeah, and now if they follow up, they break Fnatic's money finally. So Spirit in a, in a really good position here considering the scoreline. Fnatic, they've got to have their wits about them now. I mean, they can do the same back, right? If the Fnatic win this round, they might just roll over the game and, and close it out and bring us to overpass because Spirit are going to be, you know, on the edge of things as well. So back to B with five here for Spirit. Fnatic aren't falling for it. They've set JW in rotation. The B hops are fast, but oh dear, the escape is not. The MAC-10 chasing him down and JW loses the orb at the start of the round. It's going to be a full BX and Golden fakes out his position by smoking the molly. Flash with a double and Golden holds onto the site. They were so ready for him to be inside of that smoke. That's not the case and Golden is just shooting them all one by one with this MP9. Idis balance flying, pulls out the deeg, but Golden says goodnight. Brolin coming in and assisting certainly helps. Fnatic find 13 and with no bomb plant for Spirit, look at what that's left them with. They would have loved that extra $800 because they're going to buy regardless. 
I kind of want to see Team Spirit going back to slowing it down a bit. I think I think the only area they need to be pressuring early on, as heavily as they are, is is for top banana control. But it's these quick decisions to commit into bomb sites that feel like they're hurting them a little bit right now. Banana can be very very fast on the rotations. You need to keep this pressure up at top B though, because otherwise Fnatic are going to take it off of you, as they're trying to do in this round here and now. But think about like how successful someone like Sundai Young has been on these on these like late apartments plays, right? Just catching players in the mid round. I'd love to see a little bit more of that. And this could be the round for it. There's still this duel for top banana control going on. While all this is happening, Magix is beginning a slow but sure rotation into the A apartments to try and lurk this one out. Actually gonna decide against it. He comes back and Team Spirit, they get control of top banana. They sit in a five on four. We've given up all map control over towards A. And so at this point, you know, you've got a minute left. You've got plenty of time, but you are kind of hamstrung into this B commitment because you don't know where Fnatic lie elsewhere on the map. Oh, this fallback from Golden. He's going round to the coffins as he ex expects the CT smoke. He is right. Here comes the Execute Spirit with five up, putting everything they have, all of their grenades into this bomb site, but no one committing because there's a smoke down. And... Flush is going to have a chance to rotate, throwing a flashbang. Remember, these flashes were such a problem last time, and they will be again. Flusher assist on that flash. Golden gets a kill, and he's going to spam through the smoke. Little damage. Mir killing Brolin in the meantime into CT. It's going to keep Spirit a man up by two, actually, in this round. Mir's low, though. Bomb yet to be planted, and that's why Fnatic haven't given this one up yet. They know they still have a chance with the bomb needing to go down. JW have won the trade is in. Flusher can win this round. He can win this round off of one kill and one kill alone, but Magic fires back and doesn't let him get away with it. Spirit pick up 11 just when you think Fnatic are going to take us over the line and two or third map. Spirit silence them and break the economy while doing so. An important B rush, Harry. They just compete, uh, go back to this site, round after round after round, and finally it has the results they required. Fnatic on Eco and Spirit given a chance to 2-0 this series. I mean, at this point, if you're Fnatic, you've, you've been conditioned for these B plays just round after round, right? And so, you know, we've already seen them putting uh, putting three players. That, now that, now that's a, no, I got to interrupt whatever I was saying. Now, Hugo, read this, read this stat right now. Magix is younger than the original Ice Age film. That's wild, man. That's wild. That is insane. And he's so good at Counter-Strike. I don't, man, I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. I, I love, I love, I, I, where did where did Ice Age come from? Why Ice Age? I love, great film. Because it, it's a film that everyone knows. You know, yeah. we all know what Ice Age is. True. We're all there when it was, when it was made. Yeah. Apart from Magix, apparently. <laughs> we all know it. We all love it. And... I'm sure he's seen Ice Age. I don't, you know, I think it's I like, uh, so. I think it's, it's like a classic. cultural stepping yeah. stone, really. Like, you know, if you haven't seen Ice Age, then I don't know. I don't really trust you. <laughs> Tech issues either way. We have a 60 seconds before we get back into the action. So don't you worry. Just sit back, relax, grab yourself a beverage, maybe. Here you go, man. You could be Austin the Sloth and I'll be Manny. Is that the name of the... Uh... The Mammoth, I'm pretty sure it is. It kind of lines That's up, right. but I've said it. Yeah, Sid, Sid, he was pretty cool. I think, Harry, I think I, I'm closer to the, the the dude with the acorn. What's his name? The dude with, uh, I think it's Scratch. I That's think it, it's the little rat king. The little know? rat king. Yeah, yeah, just climbing around, picking up his acorn, burrowing it in ice for ages. Oh, I figured it out. Oh, I, yeah. Whoa, I see. <laughs> okay, it all makes sense. Oh, God. 13 11 well, here. Yeah. Hugo, well, I, don't want to hear, I don't want to hear any more stories about you borrowing your acorn, okay? I want to focus on this game at hand. Team Spirit, 11 rounds to their name, and they're looking to get back into this. As you mentioned before we had this little tech pause, that last round victory going their way has broken the economy of Fnatic. Fnatic, wow. they've taken a real risk here. They've gone for the force by heading into this round. Yeah, foraging for nuts here in the CT side. They do have a lot of utility, but no kit for the retake. That is to be expected anyway. The bomb goes down, you've often lost it regardless. More cases than not, at least. JW's pushed apartments. We've not really seen Spirit take too much control here, apart from one of the two rounds that they burst out into the pit. Magic's holding. He won't let JW get away with his cheeky, aggressive CT play. Brolin, though, he might give it another go. Magic's is still holding. But Brolin with a CZ 
is someone not to be messed with. And if he swings here, Magix isn't going to win this fight because he's holding for a walk. He's holding for a gap. Throws a long smoke. That's the timing. Oh, dear. Not the weapon, though. Brolin missing the shot. Crims is coming in to help him in the boiler, but he's just turned around as Sunday Young's jumped up into the apartments. Crims running back as well. Two players from Fnatic retreating. And, and all this going on, Mir is trying to sell a B fake, trying to push in on his own. He might cut off the rotation, and the bomb is going to go right back. Gold is still here. Mir kills him. And now Fnatic, they may have had that A stack, but it's all in vain. Oh dear. Flush up. Delete Mir. Molly. Oh Mir. Now, flush up with this AK. Armed, but not exactly dangerous as he gets put on down. Brolin. I'm going to look to hold on to this CZ. That's if Sunday Young lets him. Sunday Young, you know, not really knowing to be the most sparing of individuals. That CZ does tap down magics. That's anyone else using the CZ other than Brolin. That's a 13 and 7 kind of angle. Ooh, another kill for Brolin. And that's now an AK. He'll take that all day long. This is great. Brolin's happy with this. He's laughing. He's having a good time. No, oh, never mind. It's all for nothing. Brolin hates it now. Doesn't even want to be here. 12 to 13. Team Spirit. They find him at the very, very end. And they deny that AK save. So now, that decision to go for the Force Buy, it, it's left Fnatic in a... In, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, it's not I like mean, the end of the world, right? They still have room to maneuver. The other side of the coin is they would be broke here anyway, and they'd be double eco. Like, all that does is give them a chance to win it, right? It does take away from their next rifle round, but they're going to have everything they need apart from the all pretty much. So, yeah, I'm not even against it for Fnatic. I, I would have forced there too. And considering you're on the CT side, it, it feels like it's the right call. Obviously, this is the danger, right? Like, JW could have saved for the AWP, and, and he didn't. So now he's got a Famas, but he's also got full util. So, you know, swings and roundabouts here for Fnatic. Things are okay. They're not perfect, but Spirit, they built into this game on the T side. It was a seven-round T side for Fnatic. Spirit need to one-up that, and they're on the road to doing so. Here's that bite. Spirit now with money to fall back on as well. I think it's the biggest danger for Fnatic. They're going to need to win multiple CT rounds with not a lot either. And all about keeping it clean as you have to do on the CT side. Because if Fnatic win this round with two alive, Spirit's next buy round is going to be better than Fnatic again. So, yeah, the pressure really is on here for Fnatic. They are no longer favored in this map despite being on the CT side. They're going to have to rely on individuals. That's all you can do here on the CT side of Inferno. Hope that someone can save you in a site hold set some flashbangs up for your teammates, try and assist those kills. And hope, of course, Spirit makes some mistakes along the way, but that's not been all too consistent in this series. Spirit, a map up right now, looking for the 2-0. Setting their sights towards A with three Fnatic players harbor. Yeah, Spirit, they've loved these B plays, and so they leave Mir at top banana just to hold on to it. This gives them options later on in the round, right? Mir can do a number of things from this position. He can just hold it and allow for this bomb to rotate back, and this is looking like now an A fake with a B rotation later on in the round. They throw all this utility in, and actually, no, it goes the other way. I was going to say, right, the two ways that Mir can play is he holds Banana and they rotate back to him, or he throws the fake Util into B. And this is great because Fnatic, they've been worried about these B plays all CT side long. It looked like maybe Crims was going to rotate off, but he decides against it. And that decision, this decision to keep the three-man stack at A, could make all the difference now for Fnatic. Team Spirit knocking on the door and Brolin is there, not exactly giving warm responses, warm greetings to the Team Spirit gang. JW forces a fight in the apartments. They do deal with the man in pit. The flash. What? Oh, time is so low, though. Time's the problem. Crims can end this whole round right now. JW's dropped the bomb, and it's over. It's done. 14 on the board for Fnatic. I disbalance, able to get out of there with the AWP just about. But it's 14 for the Swedes. Yeah. They narrowly get that one on the board, and it's a matter of that one just coming down to the time. The flashes are good to delay the pushes. I'm going to need to check this after this game, but it feels like the Spirit haven't won an A round on the T side. It feels like they've only won B executes. And, and going back to another A play, it's just very, it's very jag, uh, jagged. It's very staggered. And yeah, Fnatic are able to pick their fights. JW even getting aggressive in the apartments. And I think the idea there for Spirit was, oh, Fnatic, they're going to, they're going to be you know, leaning towards B. We've done so many B hits. Fnatic will have three there. That wasn't the case. Crims makes the right call. Crims has always been a good Inferno player. I feel like no matter what Ross 
start off Fnatic we've had with Crims here. He has always been the best Inferno, you know, best performer on Inferno for Fnatic, always saving them. And here and now he is today. 14, 13, Fnatic have given themselves a lifeline. Spirit, what that B-Site is, treat them kindly throughout, but the grenade won't treat Golden kindly, removes him from the round. Fnatic, do they want to gamble with the rotate? Because Spirit have gone quiet off of that kill, and they can go anywhere. The bomb is still ramped. We have two players lurking mid in apps, and Spirit are far from committing. Crims will rotate eventually. And that's going to pull Brolin over towards long. Make sure that Spirit can't wrap the CT spawn, but it's going to be a B execute. If only Spirit went off the back of that kill, they would have just had one dude alone and probably won the round. But now, at least they're going to be grouping. Coming in as a five-man unit into a three-man setup. And it just feels obvious at this point. Why would Fnatic lean anywhere else, given how this game has gone? Yeah, Crim's even getting put up in the boost. And as you say, with three players here, this, this is going to be a, a bloodbath for Team Spirit. They, they've really given a lot of time to Fnatic to rotate these players in. And there's Flusher removing the first. 20 seconds left. This bomb's got to get into the site. They've got to go now. No one's checking the boost. No one's pre-aiming it. And no one's looking this way. Crim's could get away with a lot. And they do oh, swing. They do no. check him. But Flusher still alive, still causing problems. The time might run out again. It can't come down to the timer. They do deal with Flusher. And oh, the they bomb got just coming in with a millisecond to spare. Oh. Team Spirit left up in a 2v1. JW on the other side. And Spirit, they've somehow made something of this round. JW. Can he secure map point for Fnatic here? This is a very tall order. I disbalance at Banana, but he's looking the wrong way. No one's watching CT right now. The smoke's going to go down from JW. They've been burned by this Banana player before. And so temporarily, JW has isolated himself a 1v1 inside of the site. He's looking wow. for Magix, but Magix is going to swing wide, takes the kill with him. 14 on the board for Team Spirit. And now Fnatic's money is gone. That's so frustrating for JW. He tries to like outbrain Magix there, right? He throws a CT smoke, he flashes himself in. He then goes around to check coffins for the flank and Magix isn't there. And Magix just swings and, and kills JW. Like it's nothing. That's so frustrating. JW plays it perfectly. He, he plays the brain game, but it's the aim game that wins Spirit the round. 14-14. Magix at the age of 16 is one over 30K estimate. That would take him over 11 years of minimum wage labor to earn in Russia. So yeah, I mean, profit that's been the name of the game for spirit not just in this season but in this game they are the ones with the money and fanatic well they're wishing they were it's gonna have to be an eco they've got to play for ot at this point you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket or they will get cracked so eco with grenades with some pistols here for fanatic might see some mid nades but what else can you hope for? Fnatic could fall back to what they like, uh, used to do on pistol rounds a lot, which is like give up B and, and play grenades to, to throw on the coffins on a planter. We'll see if those two come in later. One goes down banana at least early, but uh, Flusher and Golden on B are holding on to theirs. Might just be a late logs throw. And yeah, there you go. Nice nade either way, good damage, but you are relying on pistols in this round. Yeah, the, the one thing is though, right, is, is that this scoreline up against the pistols, it's actually kind of scary. Like, yeah. no one for Team Spirit wants to be the first to fall. You don't want to be the guy to put the AK in the hands of Fnatic and put your team in the four on five. And we're already seeing Team Spirit look a lot more reserved here. No one wants to go down first. And if you think back to that other round where Spirit kept hitting B and then they went, guys, we finally need to switch it up. We finally need to go A. And they lost that round. This might be another one of them, Harry. They're faking B. Fnatic have a four-man A setup. And Spirit, they don't want to walk into a B stack with pistols. That seems to be the obvious call for Fnatic. And because it's the obvious call, Fnatic have done the polar opposite. And Spirit are now, with the bomb, walking into a four-man pistol setup. This round is very winnable for Fnatic. Yeah, but they get that kill up in apartments and now they sit with the man advantage only three players but still that's quite the stack here inside of ace some die young creeping up close mir about to find flusher on the other side of this smoke these kills are instrumental brolin only good for one grim still alive still a threat but not able to do the damage he's uh left golden in the 1v2 Map and series point on the line for Team Spirit. Resmoke down on Moto, and that's just going to cut Golden out the round even longer. He's desperately looking. There's a little gap for him to go peeking through here into the pit, but no one is giving him this fight. And Team Spirit, they don't have to. They're playing this very, very well. The one thing this squad definitely have is patience. 
And so Golden now going through this smoke, but the time is so low. Does seal the deal onto Magix, but Sumdai Young is peaking late from the pit with this crossfire set up. It's map and series point for wow. Team Spirit. Fnatic going to try and take us to overtime. This is so impressive for Spirit, regardless of how this map actually ends up, whether they win it or not. Like, the fact that they've gotten here is incredible, right? You know, Fnatic, they, they, Spirit win a pistol in the second half at an equal half. Fnatic go on a five-round streak. Spirit still come in with answers, with solutions to the problems. Fnatic are poisoning them. And, well, now it's all for this. It's all for round number 30. Do or die for Spirit. Grenades down mid and banana. Molotovs burn everyone here for Spirit. Harry, I feel like I've got a serious case of time dilation in this series. The amount of rounds that Spirit have come down, even in that previous one, planting with 20 seconds left, it feels like these rounds are faster. It doesn't feel like they're coming down to the last few seconds, but they always are. Spirit taking their sweet time. And, well, it's a good avail. Five on five right now. Similar to the previous round. No one wants to be the first man to die. They've taken the apartments. There's a man holding on to B, that's Mir. Fnatic are passive inside of B. And with two smokes left up as well, it would be very difficult to bait them both out for Spirit. And time is already ticking, so it might just be this A execute. The bomb is dropped down mid, so if things go wrong, if things get hairy, Spirit can turn around 180 and run back towards B. A bit of chip damage there from JW in through the smoke. That's bought Chopper low, and yet Team Spirit, they've done exactly as you say, Hugo. They leave mid, they go back towards this B site, and there's only Golden here. He does have a re-smoke, and that's going to go down now. Team Spirit, they've either got to go through that, or this push gets left to the final 15 seconds of the round. And that. we know they're a fan of it, but that might not be the decision made here. The nades, the smokes all going in, but no push behind it. Now they go, now they try and pick up the pace. Flusher through the smoke. Gets away with one. Golden peeking at the coffins. And one by one, they're all falling. Magix has made it feel like maybe there's a chance. Flusher trying to deny the bomb plant, but it does get planted. That's his teammate's flash. Three on four now. In the post plant oh. for the game. And Chopper nailing the first. Some guy young in with another. Looking to follow up here. Locked in this duel. And Brolin's going to find him. It's Magix and Chopper. Chopper with one point of health. So Magix has got to stand tall. And he does nail the first man. JW now. Things are heating up for him. He looks for the kill.